Hey queens and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here and today I'm coming at y'all with my one year Big Chop update. And I cut my hair uh, April 2020 or the end of March, literally March 30th. So this video is long overdue. I was on vacation um, when I hit a year. So the reason that I ended up cutting all my hair off was because I grew up getting texturizers and perms and just making sure that my hair was manageable when in reality it wasn't really manageable for me or my mother so she kind of got frustrated and so she texturized my hair for the first time and ever since then up to um, I want to say my freshman year of college. I stopped texturizing my hair or my senior year of high school. I stopped because I wanted to, you know, experiment with my natural hair and really see what it's like. Um, I was told that everybody has a curl pattern, but I grew up not even knowing that I had a curl pattern until I cut my hair off. If you guys want to see the full video of my big chop um, that I did a year ago, make sure you click the link in the description so you guys can watch the full video and also to see how my hair looked before I cut it and the before pictures from when i had texturizers perms and everything else but um yeah my hair came out really cute when i first did the big chop and as you guys can see from the top By the way, guys, I forgot to mention that the gunky, nasty looking stuff in my hair is actually got to be um, glue gel. And I get installs back to back, thanks to Brittany. Um, I get installs back to back. So whenever I take a wig off, I still have to apply another layer of got to be to make sure that my natural hair isn't going to, you know, get any glue on it. So I just like slick my hair back and that's a part of the reason why it looks like i really have no edges which i really don't got no edges right now i be snatching my wig off and i really need to stop i need to use like oil or something like that because as you guys can see your girl has no freaking edges but i'm working on it though um when i first cut my hair off i was I don't know i was wearing it out for a little bit but then i went right back to wigs because that's what i was used to and then i noticed that the wigs were actually helping it grow and wild growth hair oil i'm telling you y'all it works wonders if you want to see how i grew my hair in five months i will also leave that video in the description All right, so I actually want to put y'all on to what grew my hair really fast. This was after five months of me cutting it. Um, wild growth hair oil, listen, hear me out, and Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Um, so I put that like throughout my scalp, and I've seen growth results or fast growth in like two to three weeks of me using it. Um, I cut my hair on March 30th or March 31st, beginning of April. And on the 25th of April, I started seeing results because of the Jamaican black castor oil and the wild growth. I mixed those two together. And I do have a whole video up on like how I made it into like a protective hairstyle um, and helped it grow at the same time, helped my hair grow at the same time. So if you guys want that video, also check the link in the description.
all right so after a few months this is september i was able to like add hair onto my natural hair so i did a um a bun tutorial and i also did a video on that so if y'all want to see that <laughs> description but i was so hyped like okay i could finally put my hair in a bun um yeah Okay guys, so I'm finally done unloosing my hair or unbraiding my hair and I didn't lose much hair But girl when I got in the shower, it was like all hell broke loose But I'm just checking my growth and it, girl. It's giving hang time It's really giving hang time and yes, babe is helping me because I can't reach the back of my head. So My hair is looking very much dry. I'm using a spray bottle because that's what I use right before I wash my hair just to get my hair more like loose and moisturized um yeah it can I could put it in a bun <laughs> but these are the products that I'm using I will list them on the screen right now <laughs> right now girl and in the description down below okay guys so these are the products that I use um to wash my hair all Carol's daughter you can find these products at Target Walmart or Amazon or even your local beauty supply store I usually shampoo around two to three times whenever I take out my braids because I reuse these braids a lot <laughs> when I get my wig installed because I'm tender headed I don't like getting my hair braided so it just stays like that and throughout it staying in braids I put wild growth through um, throughout my scalp just to make sure that it's still growing and it's still moisturized so I do shampoo about two or three times and as you guys can see all the gel is out and that's because of the wash day delight this shampoo works wonders It's so strong and it washes your hair like it's just so amazing um but yeah those are the products that i use you can check the link in the description if you want the product like asap because i'm gonna link it down below so yeah
Okay, so now it's time for the styling process. And of course, I left the products that I use. And I'll also be leaving them down below as well. Everything, y'all. Y'all better check the description and not ask me where I got these from. Because I left it right there for y'all down below. So I'm going to start with the um, Shea Moisture African, no, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And I'm just applying that all around. This worked so well with my growth and with moisture. And then I'm going to be using my Carol's Daughter um, Leave-In Conditioner Spray. And this, like, once I put this into my hair after it's been dry, it just loosens up and gets really easy to work with. Then I'm going to be using my Edge Booster to, um, I actually have a tutorial on this, so if you guys seen it, you don't really have to listen to this part, but still watch the video if you know what I'm saying. I do have a full tutorial on this, but I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. So if you guys want to see the tutorial, make sure you check the description box because that's where everything is at. But I'm combing the perimeter of my hair. I don't really get into the roots. Like, I don't. I'm very tender-headed, but I still make this hairstyle look cute. But, y'all, I'm using a shoelace because it's an illusion. The puff don't be that big in real life. <laughs> then I'm using, like, a detangling brush to get the puff even bigger. And that's basically what I'm going to be doing for this wash and go hairstyle. Okay, guys, so I um, did my edges off camera because I have the most ugliest focus face. And I look focused as hell when I do my edges, but it came out really cute still. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye.